Hello everybody. In this video, we will find the orthocenter of a triangle. I will begin by talking about what the orthocenter is, and later in the video, we will actually find the orthocenter of a triangle, given the coordinates of its three vertices. But to begin with, what is the orthocenter? The orthocenter is the point of concurrency of the three altitudes of a triangle. An altitude runs from a vertex and makes a right angle with the opposite side of the triangle. That's an altitude. So if we sketch in all three altitudes, their point of intersection is called the orthocenter. The orthocenter. It is a point of concurrency. A point of concurrency is where three or more lines meet at a single point. Okay, now we notice that this is an acute triangle and in an acute triangle, the orthocenter is inside of the triangle. If I move on to a right triangle and I draw in all of the altitudes, we find that this one runs through the triangle, but the, the other altitudes are actually sides of the triangle. These meet at this right angle. So then the orthocenter occurs right here at the corner of the triangle that makes the right angle. So that's what happens with a right triangle. Now with the obtuse triangle, I've drawn in one of the altitudes for you, but the other altitudes, look at this, the other altitudes lie outside of the triangle. I'm extending this side and this is an altitude and it makes a right angle. If I extend this side, then we get another altitude here and it seems they don't meet, but if I keep going, if I keep going, I hope I don't run out of room, but if I keep going, they will eventually meet here outside of the triangle. So the orthocenter of an obtuse triangle is outside of the triangle. So that's a little bit about what the orthocenter is. So here is our triangle, triangle ABC, and I want to find the uh, orthocenter of this acute triangle. Since it's acute, we expect it to lie inside of the triangle. I've tried to sketch in two of the altitudes for you. There's a third altitude. We don't really need to find a third altitude because two lines are sufficient to find this point of intersection. Before we begin, let's remember that the slope of a line is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We need to also remember that perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. And I'm going to use the point slope form of a line to get the, the uh, equations of my altitudes. So let's get started. Okay, let's find the slope of our first altitude, altitude CX, altitude CX. Okay, in order to do that, I want to find the slope of AB. The slope of AB is equal to 4 minus 1 over 1 minus negative 5, which is 3 over 6, or 1 half. So then the slope of my altitude is the opposite reciprocal. I flip over 1 half and take the opposite of it and I get the slope is negative 2. Then I need the equation of the line that contains altitude CX. So I'm going to use point slope form. Y plus 2 is equal to my slope times X minus 3. And simplifying that, I have Y plus 2 is equal to negative 2X plus 6. And Y is equal to negative 2X plus 4. So this is the equation of altitude CX. Now we need the equation of altitude AY. So I'll do the same procedure for altitude AY. And uh, I will find the slope of the side that's perpendicular to it. So the slope of BC then is 4 plus 2, or 4 minus a negative 2, over 1 minus 3, which is 6 over negative 2, which is negative 3. So the slope of this altitude, altitude AY, 
is the opposite reciprocal of that, which is one third. Now I need to get the equation of AY. Let me do that right over here. So I'm gonna use point A uh, and the slope of AY. So Y minus one is equal to my slope, one third, times X minus a negative five. Distributing, I have one third X plus five thirds. And then adding one to both sides, I have y is equal to one-third x plus eight-thirds. And this is the equation of my other altitude. Now, I'm going to need to put these two altitudes in a system, and we'll be able to find our orthocenter. Okay, I have put my two altitudes in a system for you. We will solve this system of linear equations by substitution. If uh, two expressions are equal to the same thing, then they're equal to each other. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set these two expressions equal to each other. And I think I'll clear those fractions by multiplying both sides by three. And we have negative six X plus 12 is equal to X plus eight. Add six X to both sides and subtract eight from both sides. And I have X is equal to four sevenths. So that is the X coordinate of my orthocenter. Now all I have to do is plug this value into either one of these equations. The first one is easier, so here we go. Y is equal to negative two times four sevenths plus four, which is negative eight sevenths plus four. And so Y is equal to, let's see, 28 seven. So 20 over seven. So then my orthocenter, yay, is four sevenths comma 20 over seven. That is the orthocenter of my acute triangle. So thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, your viewing and I hope that this has helped you. Uh, please press like and subscribe and leave a comment and I will see you in the next video.